going on, you hockey fans? I can't leave you out. I'm young guns hunting. And I got a couple in the background. We've got a couple. We've only done a couple tins, but I saw one on the shelf and I'm like, hey, I need to get the Hughes brothers, right? Uh, so I want to open up this tin with y'all. So we're going to do that. Uh, this is the... What is this? 2019-20 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey. Looking for the Hughes. Um, but we'll see what we can get. Um, these have been fun. Sometimes I've seen them. I've got some uh, Walmarts I've been to that are selling them for $29. I've seen some that are still proud at $39. Um, I wonder how they're selling at your Walmart or wherever you buy your cards. But these tins are nice too. Uh, you can do all sorts of things with them if you want. You got Sidney Crosby on the front for you Pittsburgh Penguin fans. So we've got, oh, I'll go back to this in case you haven't seen any other ones. Uh, there's a bonus pack of Opeaches in there. Um, but uh, you got eight cards a pack. We've got 10 packs. Um, I think I've got one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm getting two young guns, a tin. This one was fun because it was a Young Guns, but it was a canvas. Um, I like the canvas ones. You all know that by now, right? Um, that's it. So we're just going to break into it and see if we can get ourselves Hughes Young Guns. In case you haven't seen these before. They're pretty dope, man. They did a good job. Get your Apichi little three-card pack on top. And then... We've got a few more packs to go, and that's me rocking that tripod. So, you can just put them right back in here when you're done. Keep them nice and safe in your Sidney Crosby. hey -o. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this buddy book. Is that what it said? Eight cards per pack, 10 packs per tin. I guess they're counting the Opichi. So, we should start opening these. Now, my other cup, you know, I think I did two of these. I don't know if I posted them both, but um, these names aren't easy. I don't follow hockey a ton. Um, I enjoy the sport for sure. Um, just not enough time to, to watch everything all the time, but... Um, pronouncing names or having any background on these guys not my forte so there we got an upper deck canvas Pierre-Luc Dubois um, I wonder if I have that one already but it looks familiar but nice to get a canvas I'm into it Marcus and Christian Taylor and Jonathan so pack one we got our canvas um, Mackenzie Blackwood it's his second year right nice and i haven't i mean if you guys have seen these cars before i mean upper deck is on point i always give them as much props as i can from a quality perspective from the clarity how clean these images are how well done um their whole printing process is upper deck has always been you know top class as it relates to the products they make at least in this guy's opinion so I like Upper Deck. It hasn't really ever gone wrong for me. Alex. We got Samuel. Ryan O'Reilly. Oh, you devil. He's not a devil. He's a St. Louis blue, but um, he did some damage to the Bruins last year in that Stanley Cup. Frederick, Sean, and Eric. Roop. Nice. Yeah. I knew he was a youngin'. And then Chris Kreda. So no young guns yet. Only two packs down. We'll keep going. Do you guys collect hockey cards? Do you have a team you watch? Charlie. I'm a Bruins fan, so you can hate on me all you want. But when you've born and raised near the Bruins, you kind of have to like them. And I do. I've enjoyed them. Uh, Blake and Bo, Upper Deck Portraits. 
Sebastian Ajo. Those are fun. Um, I think in one of my other packs, well, obviously one of my other packs, I picked up the Ryan. So now I've got two upper deck portraits. And then Tyler and Jacob and Alex. All right, no young guns. Although we got an upper deck portrait and a canvas so far. Come on. I think there's a, there's a couple young guns in this, this series that have some significant value. Um, I was looking at one of them and what's his name? I'm trying to find him real quick. Um, Dominique um, Kabalik. Um, at least from a price guy perspective, it was like a $6 card. It's quickly jumped to 20 So if you're sitting on that one, it might be uh, nice to sleeve it up. Maybe send it in for grade. See how the year finishes. Anthony Alexander. Young Guns. Quinn Hughes. This is the brother of Jack. So number 249. So we hit a, we hit a Hughes, man. Freaking A. Let me get a sleeve, y'all. Give me a second. So, it's not his brother, but still, two amazing young talents for the NHL and for card collecting. If you're into, you know, flipping cards, you know, making some money, I don't know what your style is, how you collect. If you collect for your personal collection or you collect to flip, basically, this was a 29.9810 book. If you will, many of you don't go by book. You'll just go by, you know, what eBay is selling. Um, but if you go by book, you know, it's 60 on the high end. So that's a uh, that's a good hit. And it's a Hughes. So happy about it. It's not Jack, but it's Quinn. Jack, if you're wondering, um, his car is going for 80, at least book. And there's some different inserts and different styles of it that are going for much more. So... Don't don't forget about hockey, guys. Hockey can bring uh, some decent value as well. There's collectors. There's some people that are extremely passionate about the sport. And uh, also, since hockey isn't collected as much, I don't, I don't know exactly, but you're probably not going to get as significant print runs, um, at least in the states. So, if someone does get hot or the or the hobby gets hot, it might be nice to hold on to those. Thomas and Daniel, Zach, Brandon, Nino, John. I'm stoked, man. We got a Hugh. Poor Hughes. That's all I wanted. With just one of them. I'll take it. Brandon Rack. Brent. Hey, another portrait. We got Philippe Zadina. Or is Z Zadina. Zadina. Nice. Those are cool cards. Nicholas, what do you guys think about these cards? From a from a clean and clarity and crisp. Freaking dope, man. Freaking dope. I used to watch a lot more hockey than I do now. Now. I definitely, once playoff season starts, I'm definitely watching a lot more than I do during the normal season, but it's tough to get. You know, it's not, don't have the giant TV contracts so that you can see a lot. And then we got, oh, mercy. Um, let's try it. Vlad Saval? Vlad Gavrikov. Hey, why don't you guys uh, tell me? Tell me how to speak. Say this young man's name because it's not my style. I don't know his name. We'll just call him Vladislav. Vladislav Gavrikov. Close, maybe. And if you guys ever listen to like hockey games on TV and those announcers and the color guys freaking rattling off these guys' names like they're brothers, it's insane pretty impressive so cool well we got two young guns um so i think that's it for young guns at least from my experience um, they might slip another one in there maybe a canvas um maybe in some kind of special insert but 
Uh, no Jack Hughes, at least so far. So we might have to try again and see what we can grab. Um, keep on the search for Jack Hughes. I mean, we got Quinn, man. That's awesome. All right, last pack. Last pack. Rasmus, Matt, it's a cool shot. I mean, the, the picture, I mean, gosh. Oh, we got a third. Sweet. Was not expecting that, as you all know. So, uh, Joel here. Very cool. These are sweet cars, guys. I don't know if you're into this stuff, but these young guns are just dope. Nice. It's a little extra surprise for us. And now we got our little three card glossy Opeaches. Um, when I've looked, these things have held like absolutely no value, at least from a resale perspective. I haven't seen these things doing much. You know, typically your inserts or your parallel, you know, things, these little special packs are worth grabbing. So far, I haven't seen many of them that have been. We got Philippe again, Dante. We got a rookie at least. Fabro and Trent Frederick for the Bruins. So, and then you got you got the copper. I don't know if they're calling it copper or gold or brown. I think it's copper. And then your traditionals. So, hey, not bad. Pretty rad, actually. The raddest is this. We got Quinn. We got a Hughes. And then we got two more Young Guns. So, Young Gun collection is growing. I want to say the Young Guns are. Jeez, I think they got 40 or, uh, I know Quinn is the last um, young gun in the series. So uh, his card's 249. I think his brother Jack um, starts it at 201. So what's that like? Let's call it 50, could be 49, but um, we're, we're, we're working on it. Hopefully I can get the whole collection. So uh, that's it. That's 1920 upper deck. Series one, um, nice little tin. I've seen um, the cards, um, but not in the tins. I haven't grabbed them. Uh, I like the tins, but uh, if you could, man, uh, appreciate likes, appreciate any comments. Um, hey, subscribe if you're into this kind of stuff. I really appreciate that. Hit the bell so you know uh, next time we do this, you can do it with us too. So appreciate you watching. Till next time, y'all, we're out. Yep.